here and polished and ready to go. And that'll air June 1st at 6.30. It's a Saturday, 6.30 in the afternoon. Um, yeah, we did a bunch today, a bunch of recording mm -hmm. for it, and all signs are pointing to what looks to be an active season in mm -hmm. the Atlantic Caribbean slash Gulf of Mexico. No way to know where, right. when, how strong the impacts at this point, but it does look like a busy season. We'll be talking about uh, all of the reasoning behind that and what to do if a storm comes in that special. It's a new month now. Keeping closer. May. It's May. What? Yeah. May 1st. It and, is. And May is a month that typically we start to really feel what we're feeling right now. Mm -hmm. The humidity starts to become more of a presence and a steady influencer of our weather. The average highs start getting up around 90 degrees by the end of the month. And we average between three and four inches of rain on a given May. I will say that April was a pretty dry month. It's in the top 35 driest months on record. We're going to be getting into a little more of the drought subject on our six o'clock broadcast. Still have some haze in the atmosphere. 85 degrees with the feel like temperature of 93 southeast breeze up around 20 miles per hour. We were mentioning earlier the rain chances north of here. There are flood watches posted for a lot of the Texas Hill Country and then into eastern slash southeastern Texas. That rain going to be north of the coastal bend. And there's also a severe thunderstorm watch that's in play for West Texas. And there looks to be significant activity out that way. Some of that will move across the state. And we're also seeing some of those showers bubble up around the San Antonio area for the time being. So uh, right now, again, we're not in line for much. Most of it going to be to our northwest uh, and east as we work through the night. Watch how our simulated radar imagery sends a lot of thunderstorm activity through the northern half of the state. Houston could be waking up to some thunderstorms tomorrow morning. For us, I think it's just isolated activity. More of the same, mostly cloudy, hazy, breezy, warm and humid uh, with highs in the middle to upper 80s Thursday. Thursday night, same type of deal. The dry line fires off some thunderstorms into the DFW Metroplex, then into southeastern Texas by morning, and we miss out on a lot of that. Friday could have some activity to our west. Again, I don't see anything major working through. A lot of this looks to be to the north. And then again on Saturday, that dry line out there may be the catalyst for additional stuff firing up. And it's going to be Friday night, Saturday night that I think we've got to watch for at least the possibility of some showers or storms trying to work into our viewing area from the west. There's going to be little short waves, little pockets of energy moving in from the west. And again, this is a really nuanced forecast. So if this is a little farther south, better chance for rain, more to the north, lower chance. That's Friday night. This is Saturday night now. Another one of those tracks over. And again, it could lead to some isolated showers or storms, but I don't think we see anything widespread as we work toward the weekend. The bigger story, upper 80s in the day, near 100, if not greater than that, on the heat index into next week. Tonight, 76, passing clouds, a steady breeze from the southeast, awfully humid outside, uh, and that humidity is why those temps aren't dropping off a whole lot overnight. Upper 80s tomorrow, flirting with 100 on the heat index, hazy, humid, mostly cloudy, wind gusts up to around 30 miles per hour. Still gonna keep that elevated rip current risk on Gulf facing beaches. And we'll also have some minor coastal flooding with choppy conditions on area bays and near shore waters. Upper 80s, heat index well into the 90s, right on through the weekend. Again, low end chance for an isolated shower or storm each day through Saturday. And next week, we start getting into some more. Uh, it's going to be even warmer with mm. mid to low 90s by Tuesday, Wednesday, and the humidity going to stay put, meaning the heat index that could be up into the 100 to 105 range come next Tuesday, Wednesday. It's happening. Welcome to May. <laughs> Welcome yes. to May. Mm -hmm. Alan, thank you. Still to come here.